How to develop a standalone instruction. Objectives. First, to follow a step-by-step -step procedure on the development of standalone instruction. Second, to develop a standalone instruction for different courses, subjects. First, you must choose a topic from a syllabus of your chosen course or subject. Second, let us you say, must create you a have chosen lesson the topic plan based the on the topic you, from you have your chosen. Your syllabus. You may now start making a detailed lesson plan on it. Example of a detailed lesson plan for the topic The Centipede. After making a lesson plan, you may now start doing your storyboard in order for you to have an overview on how your presentation will look like. For your storyboard, you will include there the slide number, image, text, duration and effect. It will also serve as your guide in making a standalone instruction. Example of storyboard for the topic The Centipede Take note. You can still edit your storyboard if you want some revisions in your presentation. If you're done making a detailed lesson plan and a storyboard, you may now start creating a standalone instruction by clicking the PowerPoint 2013 in Microsoft Office 2013. Always remember that the PowerPoint that you're going to use must be in 2013, in order for you to save it in different video formats. Next, 
When you opened already the PowerPoint 2013, just click the word insert from the menu and choose pictures. You can now insert some pictures for your backgrounds or for some designs. It will now be set as your background for your first slide. You can also apply this picture in all of your slides or if you want, you can change the picture also. You can also insert some images like classroom setting, graphics interchange format students, graphics interchange format teachers and many more. You can download some images in google.com, in yahoo.com or even in your own computer if you have some available images. Look at the example in next slide. After inserting some images for your presentation, you can now start typing some texts in the text box, just click insert and choose text box. You can also add some slides if you want, just click home from the menu and click new slide. You can also insert some shapes, just click insert and choose shapes, here you can select or add different shapes or some dialog boxes.
If you want to integrate the video as part of your lesson for you presentation, just click insert from the menu then choose video, you can choose from the two options that you can see there, which are the online video and video on my PC. You can download different videos from YouTube or choose in your PC if you have some available videos. After you have inserted all the images, videos, shapes and typed all the texts for your presentation, you can now start inserting some audio clips using from text to speech that come or if you want it you can personalize your audio if you have an available voice recorder in your laptop or in your computer. For your audio clip, just type from text to speech that come in the address bar, but make sure you have an access of internet in your laptop. Then type the texts that you want to convert into audio. The texts that you're going to type are also the texts that you have typed in your PowerPoint presentation. If you are done typing the text, you can choose below if you want the speaker to speak it, slowly, medium, fast or very fast. You can also choose the character you want to speak for you, you have there, Alice, Daisy, John, George and Jenna. You can also choose and select the language that you want to use like US English, British English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, Portuguese, and Russian. If you're done in typing and editing, just click create audio file. Then download the audio file. Right click the link then select save target as or save link as. You can change the file name then click save. It's better to create a new folder so that when you're saving your audio clips, those will be organized.
Next, if you're done converting all the texts into audio clips, you can now insert these in your PowerPoint by clicking the word insert from the menu and choose audio which is in between of the video and screen recording, then insert the audio clip in the preferred slide. You can choose record audio or audio on my PC. Since you have recorded already some audio clips using from text to speechcom you can now choose audio on my PC. In audio editing, just click the icon and the audio tools will appear above the menu for some adjustments then click playback, it will appear there if you want to start it automatically or on click, you can also select if you want to play it across the slides, loop until stopped, and rewind after playing, in hiding the icon of the audio just select hide during show. Next step, if you're done inserting all the audio clips in your presentation you can now start adding some transitions and animations or effects to make it more appealing and interesting to the students. Just click Transitions or Animations from the menu that you can see above. For the transitions, these will add effects on how the slide will transit from one another, you can select if you want to play it on click, you can see some adjustment commands or buttons on the right side of the menu if you are in the transition command if you want to add or edit something for slides only. While for animations, these will add effects on how the images, text and audio clips will work. You can choose different animations depending on your style, you can also see some adjustment commands on the right side of the menu if you are in the animation command. Here, you can reorder the animation, add animation and calculate the timing of your images, text and audio clips if you want them to appear on click, with previous and after previous.
before the last step of developing a standalone instruction, you must rehearse the timings or record slideshow in order for you to calculate how many seconds you will spend for each slide. This will also help you to have an overview on how your presentation looks like. For this one, just click slideshow from the menu then choose either rehearse timings or record slideshow. To calculate and record the seconds you spent for each slide, just click Transitions then look for the duration. If you're done in recording and saving the slideshow, you may now proceed to the last and final step of developing standalone instruction. Click File in the upper left corner of the computer then choose Save As, then click where you want to save your work, say for example in your desktop then a dialog box will appear, just type there the file name that you want and for the Save As type just choose the video format MPEG4 video or the Windows Media video. Then you're done. Just wait until the video is saved. It took an hour or more than of it in saving the video, that's why you should be patient enough in waiting. Thank you for listening.